Hello everybody and welcome back to Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode. So today, you might be wondering why the hell the screen resolution is like this. I said I hated it, but there's a reason. It's because I planted up some daybloom seeds, some here, some in pots. I can't seem to figure out how to make the planter. Um, I'm going to have to look at the wiki to see how to make it. But I figured while I'm waiting for those to grow, I may as well be productive. So we have two gravitation potions. We're going to look for floating islands, and with this resolution, it's easier to see floating islands because you can see quite a bit further. So, I can't really see shit for text or anything, but we'll start with one, and hope that we don't hit anything and die. <laughs> Which is another reason why this resolution is fantastic. So, yeah, nothing, nothing too exciting today. After we use these two potions, I don't know what I'm going to do, uh, because that's only, like, what? 12 minutes in? Oh, I got an achievement for hitting the top of the world. Uh, yeah, this is only going to take 6 minutes to use through the two potions we have. But, what can you do? After that, I'll probably cut and then find something else to do while uh, I wait. Actually, we probably could cut and then go do the Eater of Worlds. Not quite sure. I could also end with more building. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, really? It's not the type of floating island I'm looking for. Is a type of it's a floating lake. Uh, those are new, but they don't have anything. That's the problem. They are completely useless in every way, other than just having water, which you know you can get anywhere. So there's no real point in looking for them. But that does mean that that's one less floating island we can actually get. I'm really hoping I'll get the lucky horseshoe because that would be fantastic. But if not, well, shit happens. I really don't need the star fury. It's not the most u like it's not bad. But it's not the most useful of things. I should also kill harpies because we do have a couple, uh... Oh, here's a floating island. Please don't be a lake. Okay, so I'm gonna want to go this way, then flip. Okay. What do we have? Yeah, I'm gonna kill a couple harpies while we're here. Lucky horseshoe! We are definitely putting that on right now. Because I do not need to hit anything. And loot. Um, yeah, I should kill a couple harpies for feathers. I should actually take all this stuff as well. Especially this material, because this material is fantastic. I'll have to come back. I don't want to waste my potions if I don't have to. Okay, off we go. Looking for more. Actually, that's the only item I needed. Uh, shiny red balloon would be nice, but it's not the most necessary. Actually, it's kind of very useful once we get the goblin tinker, because we could combine it with other things. But... You know, all I wanted was the horseshoe. That way we could just run into stuff and jump off stuff and not give a shit. <laughs> it's nice to not worry about fall damage. It's probably one of my favorite items, uh, accessories in the game. Oh, that's pretty damn high. Yeah, I'll kill harpies after. If we get stuck on a... F like, we have 30 seconds... Ooh, another floating island. Hey, it's an actual island too. Yeah, since... We're not going to have enough time to find another floating island with this potion. I'm going to stay up here for a short time. So we got the Star Fury. Uh, we also got the Sky Mill, which is cool. We got some bombs. And we're also going to just kill harpies and raid all of these blocks. Because these blocks are beautiful for making fountains out of. I also like those gravity potions. They're also quite nice. Uh, you know what? Oh, I put my other bombs away. At least we got 16 here. Also. Oh. The first time you look in your inventory after getting new items, it also shows up as new items. Oh, they're starting to roll a little bit. Ah, uh, smashing stuff the easy way. I can't wait to get a new pick. It, is, it still feels slow as hell. Okay, so we got one here. One there. Oh, that's a bomb. Oh shit, harpies actually do a significant amount of damage. Feathers. Because with feathers, like I said, we can make more potions. Alright. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what type of... I definitely will be making a fountain out of these. I'm not sure what I want to do for a fountain, though. I've already done... Well, actually, I guess all my designs are pretty much just random on the spot. Let's stick stuff together and see how it looks. But I'm not sure... There's also some new blocks that have this design, uh, not this exact design, but where the outside and the in like the inside and the outside of the block look different, and that's what I use these for. Partly because of that, uh, partly because if you use blue, uh, the blue sapphire torches, they give them a really nice glow and some other colors as well. And do I need disc wall? 
I do have a ham axe, but I don't really need it. Okay, how far did we get? We still have some distance. We could look for more on this side. Come on, Harpy, can you come up here? I, w I want your feathers. For once, I actually want to fight something. <laughs> I also don't think I really have much use for these clouds at the moment either. But I will grab a couple. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything that I might want to build out of it. Come up. Don't knock me off. Wow, they do so much damage. Obviously, that's to be expected. Okay, potion. Let's get on with this. Okay, so I'm hoping for that shiny red balloon. Other than that, there's nothing else up here. Unless they added new items, which is a complete possibility. But you never know until you find them. Okay, nothing. I also like how this resolution makes more of the map uncovered. Instead of just being able to see more, it actually uncovers more so we could get a better just overall coverage of the map doing this. I couldn't imagine using... Uh, non-supported screen resolution like uh, using three monitors at once. I'm not sure what resolution that would give you, but that's that's a thing that people do. <laughs> You'd probably get massive areas of the map uncovered easily. It's also getting closer to nighttime, which I don't really care for. Okay, I don't think there's going to be another floating island. If there is, with my luck, it'll just be a floating lake. Harpies. Uh, I guess that is pretty much the top of the world. Yes, it was. Okay. Go away, harpies. I don't need you following me. So we've got two minutes. I could always recall back home and start if we have some left. There's one. Oh, it's just a lake. Just like I called it. Get out of the water. I don't know exactly where on the map we are. Probably pretty far. Pretty much to the ocean. Uh, okay, there's jungle. There's the corrupt. Yeah, we're basically at the edge now. Okay, just make sure that there's none right near the edge. And then we'll go teleport and try to use the last little bit. Uh, luckily, I don't have to worry about the potion running out mid-air. Because, you know... Lucky horseshoe. <laughs> it's fantastic. And I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, we have one minute left. Nothing. Although apparently this just keeps going. Yeah, ocean. Okay. Walking on the roof. That's one thing I've always wanted to do, but I'm not sure how I'd go about it, is a completely upside-down playthrough. Where you're permanently stuck upside down. I know that there is a globe thing that is that used to be not in the game. Um, but now it's apparently in the game. And that's pretty damn cool. Because that means we have the option to maybe play an upside down game after this series. Oh man, just the thought of that. It'd be such a cool experience playing everything upside down. Knowing that if you fall out of the world, you fall up. Like just... Just to the top. And then gravitation potions would have to bring you back the opposite way. So you come back down. Okay. Well, that was that. Let's go ahead and get back home. So, we ended up getting the Quick Star Fury. Uh, 117. That's not quite enough for a fountain the size that I want it. But that's a start. Yeah. And we also obviously got the Lucky Horseshoe. Just fantastic. I gotta reforge that. I also need to finish up these rooms here because my NPCs are already filled in the three that I had available. But we also do got the Star Fury. Uh, it does 22 melee damage and basically just shoots stars down from the sky. Which, you know, it's not bad, but it's not great. It Technically, technically it is better than our Phase Blade. Just simply because it drops shit from the sky. Because these also do pretty good damage. And it's kind of a ranged weapon too. Durr. So let's go kill something. Blood moon. Okay. Um, I wish I didn't have this resolution. But our first blood moon. And I do know blood moons now have new stuff. Uh, let's put that there. 
Okay, let's just kill the hell out of everything. Uh, what's that? Dripper? Oh man, why do I have to be in this resolution? Okay, can we open that? Thank you. I'm pretty sure the Blood Moon is where you get the yo-yo bag. Actually, this works out perfectly because this gives uh, the episode full content. Okay, you know what? Space gun! Oh shit, I didn't see the zombie there. It's another reason I do not really care for this resolution. Okay, then you don't kill. Holy shit, he's actually fighting back. Since he's technically a child, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, shit, yeah, see, I can't see monsters too well on this resolution. We're gonna die. I can't wait till I get uh, the Dryad. She has some pretty cool stuff available. Let's do this, we can just shoot through. I wish uh, the mer uh, the gun dealer would come out. Apparently, he has a mini shark to fight with. Oh, look at that. They don't stand a chance. And I don't have to worry about running out of mana. That's fantastic. What are you? Blood zombie? Okay, that's new. I also did, in between episodes, turn off auto pickup, which now I kind of wish was on. But yeah, let's just kind of fight away from the home. Oh my god, they're quick. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just its head. <laughs> I thought that might have been a new item. I'm pretty sure this is where you get the yo-yo glove. And that makes it so you could use two yo-yos at once. If that is the case, then that is pretty damn good. Because two yo-yos, obviously, that's twice as much damage. Haha, <laughs> what are you guys going to do? Holy shit, I'm just ripping through all of them. Come on, come on. I also kind of want to fight a pinky. Because Pinky makes it so we can make uh, Molotov cocktails. Yes, that's what they're called. Okay, did we get anything new yet? Uh, no, that's all old stuff. Okay, Dripper. I don't know which mob drops the hand thing. But I think it might just be all mobs during a blood moon. God, I wish this had some knockback. Okay, okay, that's a lot of damage. Okay, let's just let him build up against that door and we'll defend from this side. And there's no more. Things, they all get stuck right there. Ah, I just rip in through them. Doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, that is so fun. Okay, leave my nurse alone. I actually have no concerns about the nurse dying. Oh, that's our 50th zombie. Uh, give me the banner. Put it. There we go. That's more damage. Alright, there we go. And we'll take less damage from it as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, oops, too far. Uh, increase damage and defense. So yeah, we take less damage and do more damage. That is fantastic. Okay, anything new? No. Come on. Why can't I? There you go. I was not sure why I couldn't actually hit it. Come on, all I want is that new item. That'd make this so much better. I'd feel like I successfully did something. That noise. It's gonna drive me insane. I could use another weapon, but this is so free. I like not having to worry about ammo or any of that crap. Okay, anything? Uh, we got a shackle. Ah, oh, I, I love piercing weapons. Just so much easier to do massive amounts of damage. And that's why the Eater of Worlds is now going to be a relatively easy fight. Not easy, but easier than it would have been without this. As long as I could not get hit too many times, I guess. Oh, I may have destroyed... Uh-oh, we're surrounded. I may have destroyed some of my day blooms that were planted on the ground. Because I know if they're on the ground, shooting at them will destroy them. And I didn't quite think of that when I came back and started shooting everywhere. Oh, also, in between episodes, I made a whole bunch of meteor shot. Um, I know it's not the most useful of uh, weapon... Uh, sorry, ammos. But it is technically better than 
uh, musket balls in every way. Because even though it may not, like it does pierce once, but even though it may not work so well against segmented uh, segmented enemies, uh, it's still it it's still better than uh, just normal musket balls. Especially since it also gives us an extra two damage. Hey, we're not getting crap off for items. Yep, yeah, nope, nothing new. All I want is the. I think it's the yo yo glove that you could get from this. I may be wrong. It may be something else. I've never done a Blood Moon. Just. There's a lot of people that did spoilers, and I read some of them. Oh, crap. Get off me. Taking way too much damage. Hmm. Give me a yo yo glove. Like I said, I don't even know if that's technically a thing. Kind of low on health. I should be using potions. I actually could use an iron skin potion, but I kind of don't want to waste them. Especially since they're not super common yet. I don't have mass amounts. Come here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't touch me. Okay, we're good. We're very good. Ah, this is just so much, but no rewards yet. Why do you have to be like this game? What can we do? There's absolutely nothing we can do to increase our loot rate other than just kill more, kill faster. Nothing. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a money trough. It's a fly piggy thing. It's, oh, it's a flying piggy money bank. Are you going to follow me? No? What if I get too far away? Will it come with me? Because that, that's like having a piggy bank on us, but we do not need a... It would be cool if it picked up coins on the ground, like just automatically, just like monsters do. Um, but I did see spoilers for that. Maybe that's what I'm thinking, that the Blood Moon drops that I wanted. Not a yo-yo accessory. But I wonder if it's going to teleport if we get too far away. Let's just make some distance and try this out. If it follows us, that's just convenient. Uh, oh, we got our 50th demon eye. So we could go and place that down at home. Now it doesn't look... Oh, 100 zombie. Do we get... We do get another banner. I wonder if it's uh, a better banner. If I didn't have so many mobs around, I'd check this. If it's a better banner, or I'm pretty sure banners don't stack, but if it is a different banner, uh, no, it just looks like a normal one. Does it say craftable? No, can be placed. Okay, well that means after you kill 100 and probably 200 and probably, or maybe 250 and probably 1,000, stuff like that, um, you could have multiple on the map, which gives you better coverage, which is nice. Die, 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 die. Yeah, when I'm done this, I'm actually going to go wiki it and see if uh, the Blood Moons drop any yo-yo accessories. For some reason, I thought that was a thing. It may not be. It may have just been the money trough that I was thinking about. Hey, we survived without a death. Okay, you die. You die. Okay, let's just pick up all this. I don't think we ended up getting anything else. Go away, slime. No taking my money. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna run all the way over here. Make sure. Oh yeah, there is stuff all over the ground. Gimme, 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 gimme. And I did destroy all of my day blooms that were planted, except for this one, one little survivor. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we didn't really get anything. Yeah, no. Other than the money trough. Now, can I put this in any of these slots? I'm assuming not. Doop, 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 doop. No, that'd be that'd be really cool if you could, though. Alright, so that just makes a flying pea bank. 
in quick stack. Now, I'm curious. Let's say it's just here and I use that. No, it doesn't quick stack into it. Because that would be one less step. Although, it is good because now we have a permanent piggy bank that flies. Probably something I'll keep with me. Well, I'm actually happy that the Blood Moon came tonight. Because that means I don't need to try to figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the episode. <laughs> Very convenient. So, for now, can I... No, oh, I was wondering if I could pick it up with that. Actually, I don't even know how you pick it up. Because you can't mine it. I guess it just stays there. There's no downside to it being there. Yeah, pretty damn cool. And the space gun did, does massive amounts of work. If I didn't have that, we probably would have died a couple times over. Uh, we have one day bloom. Thank you. Where is its seed? Do you not get seeds when they're planted in a clay pot? Maybe not. Or maybe I just got unlucky. Well, either way, that's going to be it for now. Next episode, I think we're ready. We, we do have two iron skin potions, two shine potions, thorns potion. I think I have a couple other potions we might be able to take advantage of if we go into uh, fight the Eater of Worlds. And then I'll just have to get more day blooms and stuff afterwards for future boss fights and stuff. So for now, that is it. Thank you everybody for watching. And I hope that you all have a great traveling merchant. That's a good time for it. I know he sells yo-yo accessories. Uh, and he doesn't sell any of them today. Although, apparently, uh, that's four minute duration, that's 15. I read somewhere that some of the food items now give you a much larger, um, or much longer boost to, uh, 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 uh the well-fed boost, uh, buff, rather. I think someone said, like, the pumpkin pie is now 45 minutes, which is fantastic. So I should get my pumpkin pies made, which we need a dryad to be able to get pumpkin seeds. But for now, let's get some faux, and I hope that's pronounced, how much did that cost? 30 silver each. I got nowhere to put it either. Go away, dirt. And we'll get a couple of them. Because that's going to help. So that gives us six all together. And I want these back. I already paid for them. Uh, we could use the spain... Uh, spain <laughs> the paint sprayer. It's not the most useful. Saki is just going to make us drunk. Which lowers our defense and increases our um, damage. Uh, that's four defense for... What is that again? The Gi? Guy? Ooh, don't know how to pronounce that. Don't shoot me. Uh, that's 10%... Uh, yeah, just overall, it's not really great. It's not bad if it's the very first thing you ever get. But we have a full set of armor that does a very good job. So there's no point in getting that. So, yeah, for now, that's going to be it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. See ya.